Hi all, this is Skate, and a shorter than average video today, but it's a console replay. Now, I haven't played console in a while, and to give you a perspective on how long a while is, I didn't know there was a replay feature on console. And look how good this game looks with the HUD off. That just looks epic. Now, I would have liked to have shown you the actual in-game footage, the recording as it happened. However, my recording software died. But then when we got to the results screen, I noticed the watch replay button. So, well, sorted out the software and managed to record this. Now, I'd love to keep this clean view for the entire replay, but I can't. And the reason I can't is because you won't be able to see what damage is being done to other tanks and what damage is being done to me. So, however amazing it looks, it won't be too interesting in terms of watching what's going on. So predominantly, I'm going to keep it like this. Now, in front of me at the moment are a fair few tanks. We have a VK, there is a Skoda T25, there is a Tiger, a Hammer, a T67, and a KV85. And <laughs> just look how many bounces we have produced already. That was ridiculous. And I'm in a very, very strong position here. Granted, I'm taking a lot of track damage, and occasionally they are taking some of my health. However, in comparison to how many we're bouncing and how busy we are keeping these guys when the rest of our team is dealing with everyone else, it's worth it. And it was really enjoyable, because the bounces just sound so good on console. Uh, it's, the, it's the ricochets. They just sound amazing. Now... Two things worth noting on the replay, you can't see me going in and out of sniper mode. So these guys on the left, one of them is coming out sideways constantly, and the Skoda T25 is just sticking his turret over the edge. So I am stopping, aiming in to try and get return shots on him. This guy, however, wait for it, is just going to come straight out and take a shot at me and let me take one straight back. I'm not complaining, he's giving me more blocked damage and I am getting shots in return to him. And I've only just noticed that hammer on the right hand side then just got ammo racked. Now if I had seen that at the time of making this replay I could have zoomed out and gone and had a look at his turret popping off. But at the time I was more preoccupied with, well, these guys. <laughs> There's a fair few of them. It's not just the ones on the left, you've seen shots flying in from the right hand side as people are trying to take shots from me from down there and I can't see them. Now, the second thing I wanted to point out about this replay is you'll notice Sixth Sense isn't going off. I don't know if it would show on a replay anyway. However, I don't have Sixth Sense. This is my second battle in the Black Prince. My first game, truth be told, was an absolute shambles. And I do mean shambles. Um, so after that game, I decided, right, I've got plenty of free XP sitting there, which I probably never use as often as I should. So I will slap that into this tank and get the top gun on it. Because surprisingly, it wasn't that big a research. However, I don't have the gold on console. So I only have 75% crew. Nonetheless, still a very, very enjoyable game. Now we're finished side scraping. There's not enough to shoot at anymore and we are winning. So it's time to push. And a quick shot on the move, I can't believe that one actually hit in all honesty. And we managed to finish off the Tiger 131. But as we say that, that sneaky T67 comes flying around and tries to circle us. However, much to his surprise, and my surprise, this tank turns surprisingly quick for such a well-armoured heavy tank. And remember, we've only got 75% crew, so it's going to get better with 100% crew. But now the STRV wants to do exactly the same thing, and he is a little bit more mobile than that T67 in terms of traversing around me. He is also going for my track. Thankfully, we still have a spare uh, kit. <laughs> that was meant to be a spare repair kit. Now, we were in a strong position by that bridge, so we didn't use the repair kit unnecessarily. And I'm really glad I didn't use it earlier, because I needed it in this situation here. It could have just circled me over and over again. Now I've turned the HUD off now because I'm not going to get to that last tank and do any more damage. So instead we can watch the Black Prince in all its glory driving around on this map just looking amazing. Damn it, look how good this looks. 
This is the first time I've even seen the game without the HUD on, and I literally sat the entire time going, wow, look how good my new Black Prince looks. I like the detail on it, the map, the weather, it's just all epic. And I wish you could have all this sort of level of graphics in Blitz, but sadly you can't. That is basically what is sacrificed in Blitz for a more convenient, quicker gameplay, because it's on a mobile. So that is the end of that game. As I mentioned earlier, my first game was a shambles, so this is my first times two, which gives us 5,980 XP. We blocked 3,190 damage, we have 2,181 assistance damage, and we've done 2,655 damage. We didn't fire any premium shells, which means... We made a healthy sum of silver as well, 82,000. And the other thing is because it's our first win of the day and we have an op for times 2 XP on top of that, and with premium time, 5,980 XP. I was very happy with that. And looking at the base XP, that's 1,993. All in all, I really enjoyed that game and I was really pleased with it. As I mentioned at the start though, this is a short and average video. I hope you have enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.